Okay, so I did my presentation over artificial insemination in cattle. Okay, so a little bit of an introduction. Uh, artificial insemination is a procedure for the insertion of sperm into the female reproductive tract to uh, achieve conception. This is a procedure that has become a common practice in livestock production today, and it can be done by a veterinarian or a certified AI technician, uh, and it's used both for show and commercial cattle use. So the equipment needed to uh, do this procedure, uh, the first thing I would you know, kind of list on here and one of the more expensive things is a semen tank. Uh, these tanks uh, contain a canister that I'll show you a picture of later on in the presentation. And those canister uh, have straws of bull sperm um, that have been kept in liquid nitrogen to preserve the bull semen. Those are estimated to be around $600. I'm sure if you get a used one or a brand new one, that'll vary, but that's just kind of the average I found. And then um, semen straws, they obviously contain the bull semen. Uh, I have 10 to $20 on average, and that's probably for commercial cattle. Um, that's gonna be less expensive than the 30 to $50 for show cattle semen, um, show bull semen, I should say. And then electric thaw unit, this is to unthaw those uh, semen um, straws. straws and, you know, get them ready for when you're going to actually breed the animal. And those run for around $200, and that's kind of another average. I'm sure if you get a used one, it might be a little cheaper or a little bit more expensive for a brand new one. And then AI gun, this is actually used to deliver the semen, that's $50 to $60. So the drugs associated with this kind of procedure, um, and this is kind of an overview of background work that I've done, things that I remember using back in high school and early college days, um, my first two years here at Purdue. So estromate is used to in induce luteolysis and regress the corpus luteum. Um, that's an IM injection, which would be intermuscular. That goes for around $25 for a 20 milliliter bottle. And the hormone that is produced from estromate is prostaglandin F2 alpha. Uh, the second one is foltropin. This is used to superovulate fo follicles and achieve high conception rates. Uh, this is also another intermuscular injection. Uh, and this is a very expensive drug. It's around $385 for a 20 milliliter, 20 milliliter bottle, so do not drop those. Um, that would be bad. And the hormone that is produced from this is FSH, which is follicle stimulating hormone. So kind of going with the super ovulation. Uh, and then cysterillin, this is used to synchronize estrous cycles and rupture ovarian cysts. Um, and then you'll notice that the estrus is spelled O-U-S and that's the overall cattle cycle um, compared to the next one where a cedar synchronizes estrus, which is U-S cycles and that's the actual 18 hour window when the um, animal is you know, prime for conception. So going back to cysterellin, that's also an IM injection, $35 for a 50 milliliter bottle. And the hormone that is produced is LH, which is luteinizing hormone. And then a cedar, which I'm pretty sure stands for controlled. Internal <sighs> drug release. And controlled internal drug release, yes. Which is crazy, that. terrible name. Yeah. yeah. But um, that is used to synchronize the ester cycle. We talked about that and put, um, you can also put the ester cycle on hold to sync up those animals. That's kind of how that works. This is a vaginal insertion. Um, for a bag of 10 of these, it's $130. And the hormone that's produced is prostaglandin. So, nope, progesterone. Progesterone, sorry about that. That's why I try not to abbreviate too much, but I get those mixed up. Um, procedure steps. So uh, this is kind of you know, what you're actually gonna do when you go to AI a cow. Um, first thing you gotta do is unthaw the semen straw, then load it into the AI gun. Um, and this is actually kind of an important step as far as if you're breeding cattle out in the cold, a lot of people will put the actual um, AI gun in the sleeve of their coat or something, put it near uh, body temperature to keep it warm because you don't want it to get too cold transferring that from you know, the lab that you might be unthawing it to, to the actual cow. So you wanna try to keep that warm for the time that it is gonna be outside the body cavity. And then uh, the second step is to put the plastic arm sleeve on and apply lubricant. The third step is insert the arm into the rectum and locate the reproductive tract. Uh, number four would be grab the cervix and raise the cervix to a good height. 
Um, and what I mean by good height is just the level height so when you go in to breed the animal it's not too low or too high. And then the fifth step is insert the AI gun into the vagina, move the AI gun through the cervix. Once the AI gun is in the uterus, release the semen out. And then the final step is remove the gun slowly and make sure not to damage any of the reproductive tract. So that's kind of like an overview. Okay, so these are pictures of equipment that you'll see here. On the left is uh, those semen tanks I was talking about. And on the right um, would be kind of those canisters that hold all the semen straws in there. And everyone's kind of got a different way of labeling it, but you know, this is kind of what it's gonna look like. This is the thaw uh, unit. This is what un, you know, unthaws the, uh, the semen tubes. And then on the right is the AI gun. Okay, so this is kind of an overall anatomy. You'll see, you know, this is where you're gonna be entering in over here. And then a big thing to watch out for um, is blind pouch. A lot of people will get the AI gun in there and think that they may have hit the cervix, uh, but that's not always the case, obviously. Um, the other thing is the cervix is probably the best thing to grab onto just because it's the only thing that's really sturdy with the reproductive tract. Um, and it also has three kind of rings on the inside there and you can feel the AI gun go through those and then come out the other end. And when it pokes out the other end, you know you're in a good spot. If you have someone who's a really good AI technician does it every day. They can actually uh, split the semen um, outtake with going into the different uterine horns. Um, the AI breeding that I have done is few and far between and I can get to the uterus but I cannot do the uterine horns. That's for someone who probably does it pretty often. And then this is my work cited page and that's it. Okay, let's give them a round of applause. Questions, comments? Anybody else in the room done AI besides uh, Sam and I? Okay. Yeah, I used to do a lot of it. I'm rusty now, but I, you know, you never stay <laughs> riding a bike. You know? Yeah. I never used a semen thaw device. I just had a styrofoam container with water that we would run out of the tap and have a thermometer. Gotcha. And you thaw it at 100 degrees. 100. Yep. Yeah. And what you got to do is. Now some people some people do this wrong. When they freeze semen, they take their time and they dilute it and they figure out how many straws they can make. And when they freeze it, they take it down in steps. And then it rests at that step for a time, then down mm -hmm. further, then some time, and then liquid nitrogen is 320 degrees Fahrenheit minus. And then now watch my hand. Here's how you're supposed to thaw as fast as possible up to 100 and then watch the hand. 100, 100, 100, 100 till you get it in the cow. Mm -hmm. That's why I always put the pipette down against my skin, <coughs> but you should try to do it. Like if this was a room, the cow would be there and it would be thawing the semen right here. Mm -hmm. So too many people let it cool off. And when it cools off, even down to environmental temperatures, <coughs> which you might not think is too bad, like it's 70 in here, but if it goes to 100, to 70, you're killing sperm. Yeah. And if you thaw it too slow, <coughs> there's ice crystals that form and actually cut the sperm heads. That's why you, when you thaw it, fast. Now some people would like put the frozen straw in a gun and then go out to the cow. They did it all wrong. Oh, well, that probably does nothing good. Yeah. yeah. So it's persnickety. They also have um, these holster deals for AI guns now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've I, seen it more common. People just putting it yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, 